Hi everyone, it's Christina and welcome back to another Plan With Polish Land video. Today I have a plan with me for the week of March 13th through the 17th and I am doing a St. Patrick's Day spread. I have these full box stickers that I purchased from Oh Hello Stationery Co. This is the March monthly colors design and it works perfectly for St. Patrick's Day with the colors but also these little shamrocks right here and here and then i am also reaching for this saint pat's day sticker book from Doris. i bought this at ac more over a year ago so unfortunately i don't think you can buy it any longer but you should be able to find something similar at your local craft store and if there is something available for online purchase i will have that in the description box for you so let's go ahead and get started i don't really have a plan for how this week is going to go so we will build the week together i will be Begin in the notes section with a hydrate sticker from Oh Hello Stationery Co. I have been using these every week for a while now and I still want to use them going forward. Next up I am going to grab some habit trackers from Pretty on Paper Co. I think I will reach for a green and an orange and stick to two this week. I have this leftover orange quarter box from an old Oh Hello Stationery Co. kit. So this I'm going to use as a little header for the habit section just to cover up that blank space. And I'll alternate the green and the orange. And this I don't think is going to fit in perfectly in this space, but it'll be good enough for me. You guys know I don't have to have my planner perfect every single week. So next up, I am going to grab these green half boxes. This is from an old Oh Hello Stationery Co. kit, and I'm going to put one down on every single day. And I'm just going to alternate the colors. This spread is going to be green and orange based, so anything will go as far as that color scheme. It's amazing how much Oh Hello has changed up their stickers in the past couple of years. This style is definitely not available any longer. So it's cool to look back at my sticker stash and see how far brands have come. Flipping this over. I don't really celebrate St. Patrick's Day, but it is fun to mark it in my planner and do a bit of decorating there. And then I will have one of these half boxes left. Maybe I'll be able to use it throughout the week. To go along with those half boxes, I have this matching set of page flags, which I'm going to use as my checklist this week. These are not my ideal size of page flags for the checklist because they do hang up above the page a little bit, but I can always put another sticker at the bottom or I could just draw in a check mark there and make it work as well. So I'm just going to alternate the colors. The colors don't really matter to me, as I mentioned before, because they'll all be complementary in the end. And I'm gonna pull in some of these green ones from a rainbow oh hello kit because I'm not going to have enough from this sheet to fill up every day. I'm just gonna flip this over now and continue building the checklists. It is so nice to be able to use up stickers from my collection, and I highly recommend if you are trying to do the same, a great way to do that is to buy the full boxes only, because I find that I rarely have any full boxes left over from kits or in my stash, so that way if I buy just the full boxes, I can use everything else I have and make kits like that. And once again, I will have one sticker left on this sheet. So hopefully I can use it as the week goes on. I am going to reach for this striped full box right here and that's going to go down in my thankful thought area. I will of course trim it before putting it down. And then I am going to reach for my St. Pat's Day sticker book and look for a decorative sticker to layer over the top. I picked this leprechaun with an orange border so that he'll stand out from the green stripes. That looks so cute. So next up, I am going to grab two more full boxes. I think I'll pick this dotted one and this scalloped one. 
And I am going to trim both of these. I usually don't trim the ones I put in the weekend banner area, but I am going to do so this week because usually I layer the weekend banner down in the middle here, but I am going to be using a different style of weekend banner and it would look weird if I did that. So a trimming we will do. So here is the style of weekend banner I'm using. It is another piece from that old Oh Hello Stationery Co. green kit. This is actually from last year's March Monthly Colors kit, so you can see how far their designing has come. And it looks super cute up there. Friday is St. Patrick's Day, so I will take this shamrock patterned full box. Now this is actually a four leaf clover. I saw some sort of controversy on the Erin Condren Facebook page because their March cover to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, it was the wrong thing. So I think they were calling it a shamrock, but it was actually a four leaf clover and people were mad about that. I'm just going to use those terms interchangeably. Feel free to correct me politely in the comments because I'm not Irish, so. I wouldn't know the correct terminology. And this side of the week is pretty much done. Let me turn this over and keep building on this side. I am just going to continue trimming the full boxes and placing them down. Here is the other shamrock four leaf clover pattern. This is coming together quite nicely. If you're new to Oh Hello Stationery Co., I definitely recommend getting their matte paper. I do love their glossy paper as well, but I have come to love the matte so much more. It is just really smooth and buttery. It does not feel like any of the other matte stickers I've purchased on Etsy. It feels much more expensive, and it's actually more affordable compared to most other shops, especially when you shop on Oh Hello's website versus shopping on Etsy. Here is the last full box of the spread. Let me go ahead and open this back up. I think I'm gonna add in some more elements before I finish this video. So I have been doing the 30 day push up challenge, which is also a sticker kit from Oh Hello Stationery Co. And I am going to fill in those days here now. I am pre-filming this video, so I actually have to skip a week in the stickers. So Day 22, I really like doing this push-up challenge because it only takes a couple of minutes of your time every day, but it really does make a difference. I've done it once before and I was amazed at how quickly I was able to increase the number of push-ups I do in a day. So I'll probably do the challenge again, but change up the numbers a little bit. We'll see if I make it all the way through this time. And here is the last one for this week. So opening this back up, I'm going to see if there are any other spots where I can put in some decorative stickers in advance. I think at the top, I will put in some of these four leaf clovers. And I'm going to use all of the stickers with this orange background because I don't have too many orange stickers happening here and I want to increase that. So I'll stick in some golden coins as well. That looks better already. I will stick this little pot of gold down here and this top hat over here and I think that's everything I'm going to decorate in advance because I don't want to run out of space if I need it, but I can always put in more decorative stickers later. So that is going to conclude my St. Patrick's Day plan with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know a lot of the stickers that I used aren't available for purchase any longer, but my recommendation is just do a color themed week. Grab some green stickers, some orange stickers, some golden stickers, and you can make it work in your planner too. 
go to your local craft store, or even use some free printables online. I've never done that before, but I know that there must be some available for St. Patrick's Day. So perhaps do a quick search of Pinterest and see what comes up. But that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you are new to Adventures in Polish Land, please hit that subscribe button. I post all planner related videos and I would love to have you here. See you in my next video. Bye.